Look who's still here. It's only fresh meats. Jack White, or Charlotte Ritchie, Joe Thomas, and Greg McBloomin. You. <laughs> Before the break, we're talking about the last ever fresh me. Are you going to be emotional? Oh, very sorry. Yeah, Genuinely. So. For the last episode, we're all getting together to watch it with the writers and lots of other people that worked on it. Oh. So to all cry together. Yeah. Or I think not. It'll be me and we'll watch who doesn't. Yeah. I think it'll yeah, be. Yeah, like... it'll be really fun. It'll be, you know, yeah. hysterical. I think we'll be screaming and crying. <laughs> Will there be snot bubbles? Mm. I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There'll be loads of snot bubbles. The last scene we did as a, as a group, we had this scene where we were all doing... It wasn't a sad scene, but you I cried every time. Well, I, have a, I cry everything, Alan. Like, everything makes me cry now. This, <laughs> I feel like I'm like a pregnant woman. I'm always... <laughs> How, old How old are you? 27. I don't know what it is. I cried at an episode of Deal or No Deal once. That's too much. <laughs> I cried on Deal, Deal or No, no Deal. Deal. Did you have the thing then? No, I did, and it was like because all the money was going for stand up to cancer, and like you know, oh, if it yeah. was just for me, like buying like a caravan yeah. or a speedboat, yeah. I would have taken the chance. But this is like good. someone no 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 no, and then the banker was ringing up, and I had to pack off. <laughs> 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 it's like very emotional. It's I love that you had that reaction because I did the million pound drop with my dad and we won three hundred thousand pounds, which is yeah. the most they've ever won on the million pound drop. My dad was amazing on it, and I came off and I was like, Dad, how are you so good? You were so convinced of these answers and you didn't worry about it, and that's why we won all that money. And he went, Well, it was for charity, so I didn't really give a fuck. I was like, <laughs> 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 I mean, you know, for me. <laughs> <laughs> Evil bastard. <laughs> now, the show has been a great springboard for all of you. What have you got uh, coming up next? I'm going on tour next year. Oh! Yeah. Going to little pubs at the moment, trying out some material. Oh. Greg's doing a Gary Tank Commander tour in October. Oh, yes. in yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've got a film coming out on the 21st of April called Kicking Off. Is that the one where you play a cockney? Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. Go on, then. Down the apples and pears, meat. <laughs> <laughs> I fell it's out of the car. <laughs> yeah. Talking of Cockneys, can we talk about Danny Dyer's appeal videos on Comet Relief? Oh, oh my God. It was amazing. I mean, I've never wanted to donate more. <laughs> Look at this little sort. She hasn't eaten in months. Get on a blower. Look at her boat race. The whole situation here is naughty. Get on a phone. <laughs> You should do every appeal video. <laughs> Just so you can save them from not having Danny Dyer <laughs> come in to visit them ever again. <laughs> and Joe, what are you doing, love? I don't know. I'm not sure whether I'm going to talk about what I'm doing. I'm doing a, a, a thing, but it's not. Top it, secret? He's a not spy. Cause it's spy? <laughs> spy. <laughs> not because it's, you know... Well, I just don't know if I'm allowed to. Well, just say, just say is it a film? Is it's it a TV a show. It's a TV... <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Umbrella. <laughs> Written. Constructed reality. <laughs> <laughs> now, for the past five years, you've been playing the most famous students in the country on Fresh Meat, so I thought tonight we should see how much you've learned about actual student life. Are you up for it? Let's do this. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yes. OK, then, let's play Universe Meaty Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Jeremy Bloody Paxman, and welcome to another <laughs> edition of Universe Meaty Challenge. Tonight's show is a fresh meat derby where two teams will be battling it out to find out who knows the most about what it's like to be filthy student scum. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet the teams from Pembroke College, Cambridge, and the University of Manchester. It's Joe Thomas and Jack Whitehall. <laughs> From the University of Stirling and the University of Bristol, it's Greg McHugh and Charlotte Ritchie. <laughs> right then, you lazy, good-for-nothing wasters. <laughs> Fingers on buttons and here's your start of the ten. Question one. When he was a student, the actor Greg McHugh once got so drunk that he passed out and got trapped under what household object? <laughs> yes, Thomas. Suit of armour. <laughs> 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 well, you can guess, but what, what was it? Uh, it was a television. Correct. What? Yeah. How? Under a television? Just... Yeah. It was on, it was resting on something and I came in and, and fell over and knocked myself out on the edge of a speaker and then hit the <laughs> thing that was holding the TV and then the TV landed on my back and I woke up with a TV on my back. <laughs> You're quite clumsy. I am quite clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> Alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very dare you. <laughs> 
Question two. Underneath your desk, you'll find two glasses of the sort of thing you'll find at a student party. Have a taste and tell me what drinks make up the cocktail. Oh, no. Um, oh, um... McHugh, Richie. Uh, uh, Sambuca. Yes. WKD. And yes. hand sanitizer. Which one of mine? Yes, that's yes. one. Oh. Two, one. Come on, what's the other two? Yes. Vodka. No, Lambrini and Scrumpy Jack. Oh. oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> For an extra point, what do Kim and Aggie say is the best way to get blue WKD out of a carpet? Yes. A straw. Correct. Suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Jack Whitehall's landlord take a disliking to him and his housemates <laughs> after they'd been in their shared house for one month? He met them. <laughs> <laughs> Have a point. <laughs> Do you know what it is, Jack? We missed um, the first month's rent because we bought a crossbow. <laughs> Gosh, was that a crossbow? <laughs> What's the next question? OK. <laughs> the next question, on daytime TV, how did former Bargain Hunt presenter Tim Wanacott sign off at the end of every episode? Chat shit, get banged. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was. No, that's wrong. <laughs> this is what he did. <laughs> My God, you do actually look quite like him. You look more like a Dutch porn star. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week on Bargain Hunt. Right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's how we did it. Thank you. Yeah, hi. Uh, hello. Hi, yeah. Schnell, schnell. Hi. That's <laughs> his <laughs> good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Alan Automobile. <laughs> Take me up the bus lane. <laughs> okay, <laughs> only five things you might find in a typical student's bedroom. A bed? <laughs> I'm sorry, I've lost it. <laughs> Traffic cone. Yes. Um, of course. A shoe with the remnants of some beans in it. <laughs> yes. Um, a pornographic magazine. Yes. And a Scottish man trapped underneath a television. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now, Joe, there's one thing students love in their rooms, and that's traffic cones. My God, yes. Now, there's a bit of work going on around the back of the studio. I want you to nick me a cone yep. without getting caught. Not a problem. And you've got 30 seconds. Time starts now. Grab that cone. Go, 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 Come on. Go, go. Get a cone. Go, 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 go. Joe, Joe, go on. Not being Why noticed. is he walking backwards? Because he's, not... he's not being noticed. Would you all put your goggles on, please? <laughs> Greg, Charlotte, you're up first. Take a look at these two fellas. All you've got to do is tell me which one you should go home with. <laughs> <laughs> OK, beer goggles. Which one are you finding the more attractive? Um, uh, I like the antiques expert, uh, A. <laughs> <laughs> right? <Go> Wrong. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Greg's decision, the porn star, on the left. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Joe, Jack, oh, I'm going to show you two <laughs> ladies. All you've got to do is tell me which one you take home and which one's the munter. OK. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? B for a little moose bouche and then on to A after? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right answer. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Me as Lauren Goodger. Yeah. Look, that's me as Lauren Goodger for Heat that's magazine. Un you look that's really uncanny, like yeah. <laughs> Final round. Right, Jack, this is for you, okay? Come with me, I'll show you. Yep. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Okay. You have to pile these dirty plates up. Yeah. As high as you can. Oh, nice. Without them falling over. Okay. Okay. It's called washing up Jenga, and this is for a bomb. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. You've got thirty seconds. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> High, as high as you get, really. Okay. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, doing it. Oh. Okay. Stay focused, mate. Don't let us go, okay. Jack. Oh, no, come on, Jack. Jack try the sponge, good. mate. Try the sponge. Oh, sponge. Oh, sponge. Oh, sponge. Oh, sponge. Try the sponge. I'm sharing a mix. Sponge. Sponge. It's free. No, 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 we need to get some more of these. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. It's getting oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You've got ten seconds. Go on, mate. You've got oh. ten seconds. Oh, Big attack, Sarah. I can reveal that tonight's winners are Joe and Get Jack. Good <laughs> luck with the last day of Fresh Me. It's on on Monday. Monday night. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Give it up for Jack White, Charlotte Ritchie, Joe Thomas and Greg McHale, everyone. <laughs>